Hello friends! Welcome to another draw with me. Uh, this is the second one. It's always kind of weird making these. I never really know what exactly to say. Uh, but I don't know. We'll see where we go from here. Uh, this week has been super hot recently. I don't know if it's been hot where you are, but it's been incredibly hot here in Sweden. I think about 28 centigrade or uh, I think that's like 80 plus in Fahrenheit. And it's just kind of funny because even though I'm from California, I'm not really used to this weather anymore. So <laughs> it was quite a shocker. Um, I guess not really much going on this week. Um, if you've been following my stories, you might have seen that I got a plant shelf for all my plants. Uh, which is kind of funny because now that me and my partner live together, I can have all these plants because I'm actually a terrible plant mom. And so long story short, I usually kill them. But now I have my partner to take care of them so I can get as many plants as I want and he will take care of them for me. <laughs> Making this illustration is actually really stressful for me. Uh, I didn't expect that when I was going to start making these draw with me videos that I would get so anxious about making them. Um, and it's kind of interesting because I've had a really interesting year. It's, it's been really stressful and I haven't actually done much illustration work like I used to. I know that I do a lot of crafting but for me illustration is kind of in a different mindset and zone for me. So doing all these videos for um, these weekly videos, I've been having to really think about what I'm going to make. And unlike many other amazing artists that I see, um, I actually like to really plan my art, especially if I'm going to be making like a big illustration and not just a doodle. And so when I was planning on making something like this, uh, I had an idea of what I wanted to make but I didn't really know exactly how to go about doing it. And I didn't record myself like, doing the sketches and stuff like that. Um, this just kind of happened and I hadn't been filming quite yet, but uh, I did originally make this sketch actually digitally on my iPad just to kind of figure out the forms and to figure out the colors because for some reason, traditional art for me, like I like to just plan it more, especially if I'm going to be committing more time to it and there's no undo button right with traditional art and uh, it's actually interesting because this is the <laughs> this illustration you're seeing me make now is the third time I'm making this so the first time I did it on my iPad as a doodle the second time I I really wanted to so just to back up I, I have these paints that I've been holding on to for years that I have been too intimidated to try um, and it's these really awesome poster colors poster paints that I got from Japan and it's the same kind of paint that uh, Studio Ghibli uses to make their backgrounds and I had been thinking oh um, maybe I can try using those for this painting um, long story short, it didn't turn out well. I didn't understand the paint at all. I couldn't figure out if it was like watercolors or if it wanted to be like gouache or, or acrylics. It, it was just not good. <laughs> um, so I started over actually. And while I do feel kind of bad that it didn't go very well, I do think that I learned a lot even in the mess up painting that I made. And I think those kinds of things are really important to grow as an artist, especially when you're learning how to use new materials. Um, I think it's really easy to get intimidated by new supplies, and so that's why it's really important to not be afraid of experimenting with them and trying out how they work. So for me, really, what's really important when I'm making a new illustration is having a strong idea of what I want it to look like. Um, I find that when I have a better visualization in my head of what I want it to look like, it's a lot easier to actually create the piece. So that's why I spend a lot of time like sketching, figuring out the colors, 
because uh, that's when I'm trying to figure out all those little things. And then I find that when I actually go to make the final piece, it, it comes a lot easier and a lot faster. And I'm not sure if you noticed, but in the beginning of this video, I actually started with acrylic paint with like a brush and it just wasn't giving me the look I had envisioned in my head. So I swapped to using uh, Posca markers instead and, um, and found that I could find my flow and that it just came so, so much easier. It is a bit sad to think that I feel like I was defeated by the poster paints because I don't think that they should be that hard to use, but I also tend to think that about a lot of art materials and then when I do it, find out that they're actually a lot more challenging than I originally thought. Um, so I think it's just something I'm, I'm going to have to practice with. I actually still have, um, so I have those poster paints that I've had for literally years that I tried to use this weekend and it completely failed. And then the other alternative I had been thinking about was using these uh, acrylic gouache paints that I have, um, which my friend had so kindly brought for me from the US last year. Um, and I don't know if anyone else has this problem, but I definitely do. Like I'm always worried about wasting art supplies. I would say it's not healthy because I mean, I think I've gotten better over the years, but how can you ever expect to actually get better with a medium if you never use it, right? Um, so I don't know, I guess if you're like me, try not to be scared of your art supplies. Uh, the blank page is, is very, very scary and I would say like, yeah, taking the first step, choosing which one to, to use and then committing, which is a bit hypocritical considering that I didn't commit to the poster paints. I really tried, I got halfway through the painting and it just looked terrible. Uh, if you really want to see it, let me know and I, I, can, I can send you what it looks like. <laughs> but actually thinking back on the process, I am really glad that I did start over because then I was able to just enjoy the process of making it without having to struggle with the medium and yeah, I could just get in the zone and, and paint. And in the end, I did end up using mainly Posca markers, uh, but you can see here that I am using some colored pencils because I did try to experiment again on this piece. Um, and then you'll see shortly that I go over it again with a marker, um, just because the colored pencil wasn't giving me the look that I wanted. I wanted it to look like how I had it in my head, and so I went back over it with these Posca markers. And the one thing I do really like about Posca markers is that because they are an opaque paint that goes on really evenly, there is kind of an undo button with these. Like you can kind of just go over any mistakes and it's like they were never there to begin with. So using the Posca markers actually made it a lot more fun for me to make this illustration just because I knew that there was kind of like an undo and it's nice to finally have it actually done now, uh, even though you're still watching the process of it. Just because I have been thinking about this painting or type of painting like this for a long time, something with like large big leaves and like a cute little cat. And I was inspired by the Monstera that we just got. I mentioned the plant shelves that we just got before, so we ordered two plant shelves and the Monstera from Ikea. Obviously when you order furniture from Ikea, you have to put it together and uh, turns out that I'm actually really bad at making Ikea furniture, which I really hate admitting because I feel like being good at making Ikea furniture is like this thing that people pride themselves on. I'm apparently not one of those people because when we were putting the shelves together, I messed up on the first screw. I don't know how I did it, but it happened. And when I think back on it, the other time I built IKEA furniture uh, also kind of messed up. And then my partner had to come back and fix it. So yeah, turns out I'm not good at making IKEA furniture. Hope I'm not the only one. Uh, <laughs> feels weird to admit that on the internet. I'm sure my sisters will be really disappointed in me. Anyway, so yeah, point is that 
you know, finally got that monstera, which was the inspiration for this piece. Anyway, I wrapped up um, my second draw with me. Hope you liked it. Talking about artist insecurities and my plants. Thanks for watching.